We are back with our live Q&A. We're talking about blood donation. So what are your questions? You can text the numbers at the bottom of your screen, 336-379-5775. Our uh, expert here is Maya Franklin. She is the Regional Communications Specialist for American Red Cross. All right, here we go with more text questions. This person says, I was denied the opportunity to donate blood because I was born in Africa. Have any requirements changed? Yes, there have been some deferral updates. Those individuals who have lived in malaria risk countries, however, would still be deferred for three years after returning to the states before they're eligible to donate blood. Okay, and this one is kind of on the same lines. This person served in the Air Force in England in the mid-1980s. Will they be able to give blood? So that one kind of depends. Um, again, we're seeing deferral updates here, um, but if someone lived in the UK for more than three months between 1980 and 1996, um, they would be deferred from giving blood. Okay, this person says, I tried donating blood while visiting my son in Florida. I was denied due to low iron level. When did they start testing for iron? The Red Cross has always tested for iron. Um, it's an industry-wide requirement that everyone who comes to donate blood, they have their iron tested along with their blood pressure and a couple other checks to make sure they're in good health. Okay, so let's talk about this. The way that you can get your iron levels up by eating and drinking the right things before you come to give blood. So let's talk about some of those things that we should eat, drink, and do before we come to donate blood. Yes, absolutely. One of the first things someone should do before coming to donate blood, make sure they're getting a good night's sleep, um, resting well before they come to donate. Also, making sure they're well hydrated before they come to give. You want to drink water. If your donation appointment is later in the day, drink water throughout the day um, and after you donate blood. And as far as the foods that they're eating, they want to eat iron-rich foods. Um, thinking of red meat, spinach, um, even popcorn for a snack is rich in iron. Oh, so, good to know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All um, right. And you want to be eating those foods well ahead of your donation date. Okay. All right. Well ahead of your donation date. So just don't try to like cram it all in like you're studying for a test right? Maybe a couple days before when you know you're going to give blood. Yeah, don't eat steak all day and then come to donate. <laughs> right, okay. This person says, I had breast cancer in 2000. Am I able to give blood after a cancer diagnosis? So that depends um, on the patient and the advice of their physician. Again, they may be eligible to donate blood, but they may not depending on the treatment that they received after that diagnosis. This person says, what medications um, that you take make you ineligible to give blood? And I know there's probably like a long list, right? They can go online? Yes. If you've ever come to donate blood, you've probably seen that very long yes. list. Yes. Um, you can go online to redcrossblood.org. There is a tab that lists those, don those medications rather um, that would make someone ineligible to donate. Okay. This person says, how do I know that COVID is not going to be in the blood? So. COVID is not transferable through blood transfusions. Um, that's a pretty common question that we saw at the height of the pandemic, um, but there is no evidence that supports the idea that anyone who receives blood from someone who may have unknowingly come to donate and had COVID um, would hurt the patient who is receiving or, or be uh, transferable to the patient who's receiving that donation. All right, and on the flip side of that, um, is giving blood going to make your vaccine less effective? No, it is not. It's designed to boost your immune response um, and fortunately does not have an effect on the individual who is donating blood. All right, this person says, I gave blood two months ago. When can I donate again? You're eligible to donate a whole blood every 56 days. Um, so about every eight weeks, about every two months. Um, if you've given a power red donation, your, um, the wait is a little bit longer, it's 112 days. Okay, and we love that you wanna donate blood. Again, we do want you to do that. All right, what should I do after giving blood? After giving blood, you should rest. Don't pick up anything heavy, don't go exercise. Again, you wanna stay hydrated, make sure you're eating foods that aren't too fatty. Um, and really the most important thing is just to rest and stay hydrated. Okay, this blood drive is just one day, but people can make an appointment. Yes. Any